guys welcome back to my channel okay I haven't said that in so long right now I have I've had like way too much coffee so excuse if I like speak very very fast but like whatever it's been like a whole year I feel since I've posted anything on here I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I, was, I got really discouraged from YouTube, but I post regularly on my Instagram page, so if you want to follow me on there, please do. I took out my box braids that I had in for the majority of quarantine, so they're seven weeks old. So, yeah. So I had seven weeks worth of shed hair in my hair, and if you don't know the difference between shed hair and breakage, um, shed hair is long pieces of hair versus the short little C's that you might see after you finish combing like in your bathtub or whatever. Uh, I uh, just want to say I had a lot of shedding <laughs> so that was seven weeks worth of hair I just have to keep remembering that you just have to keep remembering that it is not weird to have excess shedding after um, a protective style now if your hair is falling out that is a different story so so some tips that I have for the take down are uh, definitely keep your hair in sections, take your time, use an oil that you don't care about, and make sure you're not putting unnecessary um, tugging and tension on your roots. So I'm just starting off by showing you how my hair is looking, um, how much shed hair is probably trapped up in there. Um, it looks like nice and stuff and it was still moisturized because of the products that I used. Um, so I highly recommend those. I'll put them in the description. Um, so I am sectioning my hair in two sections um, and I'm going to use a pre-poo oil by Moisture Love. Um, I love this brand. I have a video on my Instagram uh, using all of their products so go ahead and and check that out um uh, that's how much shed hair i had um so i'm uh, thoroughly rinsing my hair with the oil in it and all that sort of thing with warm water um and i used the my pre poo pre poo was the melanin hair care conditioner which i really really like um for that purpose um so i'm just using as you know much as possible um uh, within reason and putting it on my ends to make sure like my hair is at least a little bit moisturized before i uh, put in my shampoo which is um pretty stripping for my hair um, and I use the Dr. Bronner's uh, shampoo, uh, which I love using when I want a really squeaky, uh, clean feeling, but highly recommend not doing it in um, this big of a section. I definitely do not recommend um, using this big of a section. I found my hair on this side had way more tangles and way more shed hair than uh, the section that I split my hair into more sections with. And then I uh, went in with the Mish Beauty shampoo, uh, which I love. It's kind of more a moisturizing shampoo, um, but still pretty, really, really good. Um, I love the ingredients of it and all that. I love this brand in general. Uh, so I'm just rinsing that out, uh, making sure my hair is, you know, as clean as possible because uh, I hadn't washed it in seven weeks. Um, and this is my all-time favorite deep conditioner at the moment. I love it so much. The slip is amazing. The moisture I get from it is amazing um, and I just overall love how my hair feels afterwards so I'm just doing the same thing that I did before pre-pooing and then shampooing but this time in smaller sections because it's just a lot easier on me afterwards uh, shampoo twice like always um, and I made sure to get my uh, edges and all that sort of thing and tried to be as thorough with my shampoo as possible I mean, 
my hair was tangled guys so this is amazing um highly recommend this um uh, deep conditioner and then I'm taking my tangle teaser which again I absolutely adore um, at for detangling and just you know being as gentle as possible um, and the smaller sections the better for the detangling um, at least in my opinion and then just twisting it up to make sure that um, it doesn't get retangled And this is the amount of shedding I got on each side. That was the shedding of that side, and that was the shedding of that side. And you can see like there's a big difference between um, how much shed hair I got on either side. And this was a lot of shedding. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of, of what my hair usually looks like. And this is uh, about a week's worth of shed hair that I usually have. So as you can see, like there's a lot less. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to like, subscribe. My social media is right here if you want to follow me. If you have any video requests or something you'd like me to do, just uh, let me know, products to review, that sort of thing. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video.